In this video, I'm gonna show you how to compress video files from very large files down to much more smaller files so that your Webflow site will run much faster. This is going to have a major impact on SEO as well as just general user performance. So the tool we are going to be using for this video is something called Handbrake. It is a fantastic video compression tool and since it's open source, it's completely for free. So all you have to do is download it here. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, it's super simple. Once you download it and you open Handbrake, it is going to look kind of like this. It is going to automatically open up your file explorer or if it doesn't, all you have to do is click on this open source button and it'll open up your file explorer. From there, we're going to choose our video. Now, I already have three videos right here that are compressed, but this one is not compressed. We're gonna be using this one as an example and you'll see these later on in the video. So you want to select your video and then click open and now we can start setting the settings to compress this video. So the first thing under summary, you're going to check mark web optimized. And then we're not gonna do nothing to dimensions or filters, but we are going to do something to the video tab. Under video, you want to select the frame rate, go up and select same as source. Underneath that, you want to select constant frame rate and then down here, you want to change the encoder speed to slow. The final thing we need to do on this tab is you can see under quality, we have this RF value. By default, it's set to 22. If you move it to the right, the file, the, the quality is going to increase, but the file size will get larger. Alternatively, if you drag it to the left, the file size will decrease, but so will the quality. Now, Usually you can try to set it just to 23. Sometimes that is going to compress a lot of the video and it's gonna look hardly, you can't hardly even tell any difference. However, depending on what kinds of videos you're compressing, you need to play with this RF value to basically get the com video compressed to where you want, um, to the size you want. For example, uh, these videos down here, you can see I have one set to a 23 RF value, one was compressed to a 30 RF value, and then one was compressed to a 35 RF value. And I'm gonna show these videos side by side in a little bit, and you can see kind of like the quality difference between my videos that I'm doing. But we're gonna stick to RF, 23. And then for audio, if your video is going to have no audio on your website, so like it's gonna be a background video or something, I would select your track. If it has an audio track, this video does not, and you'll just select the none option because you want to remove the audio from the, the video if you're not gonna be using the audio anyway. If you are using the audio, just leave it as is, and then we're going to leave subtitles and chapters the same. Once that's done, down here in the Save As tab, we're just gonna do save as dash compressed. You can name this whatever you want. And then you want to select your destination. I'm going to select downloads. And then once that's done, you simply click on start. And this is going to compress the video. And we have the compressed videos right here. So here is our original for our Ferrari.mp4 and here is our compressed video. Ferrari dash compressed MP4. So we're gonna right click and inspect this, the original, and then we're going to right click and inspect or get info on the compressed version. And you can see the original video is 3.4 megabytes and the compressed version is 2.1 megabytes. So already we saved over a megabyte. Now, depending on what videos you're using, the file savings is going to be different. I've seen people compress 80 megabyte videos down to 10 megabytes. So it all depends on what type of video you're using. Now, if this doesn't seem like quite a lot of change, like for example, a Webflow site, a two megabyte video on a Webflow site is still going to be rather large. So that is where you can play with the RF value. So for example, I have one that is 30 RF here. I'm going to inspect that one. And then I have one that is the 35 RF value. And we're going to inspect that one. So the 23 RF 
went from 3.4 to 2.1. Uh, the 30 RF went to less than one megabyte. And then the 35 RF went from 3.5 or four megabytes all the way down to 578 um, kilobytes. So as you can see on the screen right now, they're all playing side by side. There isn't that huge of a difference between them. Around the 30, 35 RF on this specific video, you can start to see um, a little bit of a difference. However, depending on where you're using the video, um, you aren't gonna be able to tell the difference. For example, on this test page that we built for this video, this is using the 35 RF video as the background and most people wouldn't even know the difference and you're saving a ton of file size. So that is how you compress your video using Handbrake. If you do need more help with Webflow, we offer Webflow Consulting. You can all hop on a one hour consulting call with myself and we'll answer any of your questions or walk you through how to use Webflow. Or alternatively, we do offer other services such as our unlimited Webflow design and development services where on any given month for a flat fee, you can make unlimited requests to your website, unlimited revisions. There'll be more links to that in the description below.